Hello everyone, Mark here from CNC Sourced. Today I want to help you understand the key differences between 3-axis, 4-axis, and 5-axis CNC milling machines, so you can decide which CNC router is the best fit for your needs and budget. Make sure you watch to the end for an exclusive tip on maximizing efficiency with your CNC milling machine. A CNC milling machine, also called a CNC router, is a computer-controlled cutting machine that can automatically cut various materials like woods, plastics, and metals. The number of axes on a CNC router refers to the number of directions the cutting tool can move. Most affordable CNC mills for hobbyists are three-axis machines. These move the cutting tool left and right, in and out, and up and down. Four-axis adds rotation around one axis, allowing for more flexibility and efficiency. Five-axis machines add a second axis of rotation for even more versatility and precision. Let's start by taking a closer look at three-axis CNC routers. These are the simplest and most affordable type of CNC milling machine. As I mentioned, they can move the cutting tool or workpiece left and right along the x-axis, in and out along the y-axis, and up and down along the z-axis. With this basic three-dimensional movement, three-axis CNC mills are great for cutting flat 2D parts or 2.5D sculpted parts. However, a limitation is that you can only machine parts on three sides before needing to reorient the workpiece to access the other sides. Still, three-axis CNC routers are extremely versatile for the hobbyist or small business. You can find very basic desktop-sized mills for a few hundred dollars, all the way up to industrial-scale machines. These are excellent for machining common mechanical parts, carving patterns and text into wood and plastics, cutting gears, and even circuit boards. Next, let's talk about four-axis CNC milling machines. As the name suggests, these add a fourth axis of movement, rotation around the x-axis, also called the a-axis. So with a four-axis CNC router, you get the x, y, and z-axis motions to position the cutter, plus the ability to rotate the workpiece for angled cuts. This allows machining of more complex 3D contours. The key benefit of four-axis CNC mills is the improved flexibility and efficiency over three-axis routers. You can machine angles and sculpted profiles in one setup rather than needing to refixture the part. This saves setup time and cost while improving accuracy. Four-axis mills remain relatively affordable for small businesses. Decent benchtop models go for $1,000 to $3,000. These make great starter machines if you need to produce 3D prototypes, custom furniture, sculpture, and other organic shapes. Finally, Let's examine five-axis CNC milling machines. As you probably guessed, these build on four-axis capability by adding a second rotational axis. This opens up a whole world of possibilities for intricately machining complex 3D geometry. In addition to the X, Y, and Z linear axes, five-axis CNC routers also incorporate two rotary axes. Different configurations have the rotation occur on the A axis, B axis, or C axis. But in all cases, the two rotary axes allow for extremely versatile contouring motions. So with full five axis CNC mills, you can machine angled, curved, and very sculpted shapes from multiple angles in one setup. There's no need for refixturing at all to access tough geometries. This makes five axis mills incredibly efficient and accurate for manufacturing detailed components. Typical applications include machining molds and dies from metals, manufacturing turbine blades, sculpting complex shapes from foams, and similar tasks needing a very high degree of precision on intricately detailed parts. Of course, with great flexibility comes a greater price tag. Industrial 5-axis CNC milling machines run from $10,000 to over $100,000. But for manufacturing businesses producing complex parts, the productivity gains offset the initial cost over time. So in summary, 3-axis CNC routers provide basic but versatile machining well-suited for hobbyists on a budget. Four-axis builds on their capabilities for more advanced needs, while five-axis offers extreme levels of flexibility for manufacturing highly complex geometries. As you choose which CNC mill is right for your specific needs and budget, consider what types of projects you'll use it for, as well as your goals for precision and efficiency. Desktop three-axis mills are great for getting started and remain useful even as you advance your skills. Stepping up to four or five axis opens additional opportunities as well. To dive much deeper on everything you need to know around CNC router selection, make sure to visit our website cncasourced.com. We have in-depth buying guides, reviews of machines, and tips on how to make the most of your CNC purchase. I hope this overview gives you a better feel for key differences between three, four, and five axis CNC milling machines. Let me know in the comments if you have any other questions. I'm always happy to help fellow CNC enthusiasts figure out the best setup.